Welcome back to yet again another Peloton related video. I've done a number of Peloton themed videos here on my channel. I've done Peloton fitness update videos, a Peloton beginner's guide, Peloton accessories, you name it. Feel free to check those out if you're interested. So today's video is, in my opinion, everything you need to know before purchasing a Peloton. Today's product is quite unique because it allows you to use two separate cleat systems with one pedal. If anyone is new to spin bikes, cleats are the portion that you'll attach to the bottom of your spin shoe. These are the Look Delta cleats compatible with Peloton bikes. And in this bag are SPD compatible cleats. Today's video is a review of the Mark Duo exercise bike pedals. These pedals are a great option for a Peloton or any indoor spin bike. These pedals are available on Amazon. What makes these pedals unique as opposed to the other pedals that may be already on your spin bike is that these pedals have the option for you to either use Look Delta cleats or SPD compatible cleats. This means that you don't have to change pedals in between different users and riders that use a different cleat system. So this is what the clipless pedals look like in the packaging. Here we have the left side designated with the L, the right side designated with the R. These pedals are made of a strong aluminum body. They do have a quite weighty feel to them. These pedals have a nine by 16 inch axle. So these pedals have a strong, heavy-duty steel axle. It has a smooth, sealed bearing, and these pedals are also made in Taiwan. So underneath the portion where the pedals were are the remainder parts. So first up, we have a pair of Look Delta cleats. And here are the corresponding screws needed for the Look Delta cleats. And these are the SPD-compatible cleats. Here is their instruction card regarding notes, and on the back, they have the assembly instructions. Here's a breakdown of all the parts included. There's also a section displaying the tools that you'll need. You'll need a four millimeter Allen key, three millimeter Allen key, as well as a 50 millimeter open end wrench. You can also adjust the tension of your cleats with this portion right here. All you'll need is a three millimeter Allen key and rotate it either left or right to increase or decrease the tension. Replacing the pedals on your spin bike is quite simple. All you'll need is a 15 millimeter open end wrench. So here I have the wrench. I'm gonna loosen up this bolt right here to remove the pedal. And this is what it looks like with a Peloton pedal removed. That was quite simple. It took me under a minute. And here's the mark pedal that I'm gonna be placing on my Peloton. This is designated left with the L right here. So as these pedals are reverse threaded, you're gonna turn the pedal left or towards the front of the bike to put it on. So that was quite fast, it took me under a minute to screw it on, and actually I didn't need the wrench at all to screw it on, I just used my hands. And that does feel quite secure, I can't twist it anymore. So I just removed the right pedal. To tighten it, you turn it to the right, to loosen it, you'll turn it to the left. On Peloton's site, they do have a support section where you can watch their video if you want further instruction, and that's actually where I reference to do this. The right pedal, turn the wrench to the right to tighten the pedal. So here's the right pedal designated by the R on the pedal. Once again, I'm turning it towards the right to tighten it, and most of this can be done by hand. You will want to tighten it at the end with the wrench. For me personally, I've owned my Peloton for a little over a year and a half, Today's video is gonna be about my thoughts and opinions regarding the Peloton bike, and I've been using it pretty regularly. And as you can see, the pedals that my bike initially came with are showing a bit of wear. They are still fully functional, they just have a bit of scratches on it. I feel like these pedals will be a great option to eventually switch out when my Peloton ones show a little bit more wear. So anyways, that should do it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to like this video, subscribe if you're not already, and comment down below, do you currently own an indoor spin bike? And what do you think about having these pedals that give you the option of using two different types of cleats? With that being said, I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching.